and welcome back. This is Butler Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. When we last left off, we got utterly decimated by the cloud of darkness. But our friends have saved us, and now it's time to avoid this portal here in the middle because we need to fight on some mini bosses. We need to head over here first. We're going to take on the southeast portal to take on our first mini boss. First, we're going to get a ribbon. Now we can take on the mini boss. Who's this going to be? This is Zandy's clone. Yes, already they are throwing clones at us. Let's go for Bio and Aroga, and then uh, one boost. Boost should be good. I believe the clones have just as much HP as Zandy did, though I don't know that for sure. Come on, Bio! Eh. I, his attack! Looks like he's putting so much effort into hitting people. So much more than anybody else has, I think, to this point. <laughs> Not like anybody ever is just like, Oh, I seriously try to hit you with my elbow. Go for another bio. And now we need to start curing a bit. You can attack now. Come on! 8,000! Wow! That did quite a bit of damage. He can go ahead and hit again because here comes the Kiraga. Hopefully before he dies. He's very close to death. I believe he is close to death. I could be wrong though. No, apparently he is not. He has more HP than I remember. Then. Getting another cure off. Everybody pretty much back to full health now. Except for Abel. Because Zandi is not a big fan of Abel. This should be enough to finish him off this round. Hopefully he does go down because we have bigger fish to fry than Zandy's clone. Down he goes. And for that battle, we get 15,000 gil, 6,200 experience, a job level up for Sackman. Always nice. But the big thing that we got out of that one is a ribbon. You guys remember that the ribbon is a helmet? Protects against all status helmets. But I'm going to be putting that on Novin because it's an actual upgrade for him over the feathered hat. So that is where that's going to go. Let's go left side. It, I don't think it really matters. There's, there's no more treasure chests here or anything like that. We just need to go to the middle here. And back through this portal. Right, that should work out for us. Just back to uh, back to the main thing. Oh, I hear a crystal. What is going on? The ebb of darkness is getting stronger soon. None shall be able to stop it. As for you, you will never leave this place alive. Oh, this this would not be a good crystal, then, would it? This would be a bad crystal, and we're up against a giant eyeball. This is Arimon. We are going to throw shit at him. What do I have to throw? Let's, sure, let's throw one of my assures at him. That'll work out well. We'll deal, we'll deal uh, Flare with. <laughs> we'll send Flare on him. I know what I'm talking about. And we're going to cast Aerogum. Because he is a flying enemy, he is definitely weak to air. Six. Wow, 6600? That's it. Cost me an Ashura. Go, Aroga! Uh, 3,700. There we go. He is definitely weak to that. We're doing quite a bit of damage. Go, Flare! We can take on the giant eyeball enemy. You cure yourself. You dick. And then you attack. You are a dick. Alright, no need for me to, to heal, I don't think. Let's deal more Flare to him. And more Aroga. You know what? Let's try Tornado. I know it has a chance to miss, but I am willing to go for it. I, d I don't think we've ever seen Abel throw anything before. That is how it works. Basically, it costs you a weapon, and you 
throw shit. Oh damn, he's got Quake. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Still a little bad, especially... Oh, if he stuns Abel. Go Flair. Go Tornado, come on, we can do it. How dare you stone my Abel. Damn, missed. Damn you. Okay. I can't remember if that one is actually uh, uh insta-death one or not. Let's go for... Jeez. Where are they? Gold Needles! There they are! Took me forever to find them. And everybody you need to boost again. Gold Needle does go first! That is greatly appreciated. Hopefully Bloom does get his turn in before the Arimon attacks again. Oh shit. Down goes Abel. Don't bite Novin. Don't bite Novin. Thank you for not biting Novin, but you stone sack me. Damn you. Damn you all. Alright, so. Two people are back to full health. Okay, let's. Yeah, the two people that he that I don't have ribbons on. Those are the people that he bites. Of course it would. One of those gold needles. They're way down here. Alright, you do that. You arise. And that's pretty much what we have to do this time. This is a recovery round. Yeah, go ahead. Use fire on, on my mage. See how well that works out for you. Luckily, the ribbon did save me there. Saved me from getting stoned. Up, 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 up. Okay, looks like we got everybody back except for Sacknin. Who, who does need to be healed still. Uh... Deals wind damage? Huh. Did not know I could use that air knife. It's probably not going to be worth it, though. Probably not. We need to use a high potion on Sackman. You need to use Flare. You still need to cure everybody. You still need to boost, because we need you to do as much damage as you possibly can. But first, I need you to be healed just a little bit. How much does that heal? Only 500. Probably not going to be worth it in the long run. Probably need to do that twice. Go Flare, though! Go Flare! Another 6,000 damage. Always appreciated. And Kiraga does go off first. Awesome. Now everybody should be at full health, I believe. Now Sackman's still a little, a little bit of ways. And as long as nobody gets stoned, I should be good. Hit one of my mages. Actually, that's fine. That's fine. Let's throw... Let's throw another Ashura at you. Let's flat. Use uh, more curing. And now you can attack now that you've boosted. How much does this do? Max damage. Awesome. Not enough for the win. All the enemies that we're going to be fighting, uh, the mini-bosses, all have 99,999 HP just how it works out. Go Flare! So I, I don't think we're, we're even close to finish him off yet, but we're getting there, especially when he keeps curing himself. That's throwing off all my numbers, especially for 4,600. And then... Don't stone! No stone! Awesome! You just go ahead and attack. How many flares? You got one flare left. Go ahead and use that. Go for an Aroga. You need to boost again. And then we should be good. We should be getting close. I, yeah, I don't really know. To be honest with you, I don't know how much. I, I, I wish I could keep track of that in my head. I've never been able to. Go, Aroga! For another 3,500 damage, and then in comes Flare. That was the last Flare that I got. I will use an Elixir off screen so that we can, you know, take on the other enemies. I don't think you get a heal after these, but, ah, uh, really? Really? No point in wasting the boost that I already got. Kiraga, everybody, you go ahead and attack. Come on, max damage, very close, very close. Go, Needle, go! This cure better go off right now, then. Yes, thank you. Otherwise, it would have been awful and Abel probably would have died. Which is never a good sign. Never a good sign. 
Okay, he goes for Thundaga on everybody. Nothing too bad. We faced worse before. Even the Quake did more damage. Bite one of my mages. Don't stone. Sweet, no stone. Okay. Uh, no more flares. Let's go for... Let's go for Bio. We need a cure again. We need a boost again. This is really just going to be a long, drawn-out fight. 8,000 more damage, though. Good lord, Abel. You are doing a lot of damage. Why do I have you throw stuff? That's kind of the, the impression that I've always gotten with the, the throw command. It's like, oh, I do more damage without it. Oh, fuck. Bite boo, bloom, bloom, sweet. All right, so Abel, Abel didn't make it. That, that was bad. I forgot that he had Meteor. I also have Meteor. Not going to be using it, though, because I don't have any more spells for that. Let's go for another Arise. You go for a boost. And hopefully the Armon actually attacks before Bloom gets, gets his turn. I believe that is what I'm hoping for this time. He does! Awesome! Lazaga all the way around. That's not nearly as bad as Meteor. In the second turn, he bites Novin. So this is working out. This is this is pretty much what I hoped for because now I can get Abel back and we can start doing damage. And hopefully, the heal goes off before his next turn. Go more bio. And you attack this time, and hopefully we can get enough damage for the victory this time. This might be the round. Down goes the Ariman. Down it goes. I hate you, Ariman, you and your damn stone. And for that battle, we get 66666 Gale. And 16, uh, 16,666 experience. A job level up. Job level up. A full level up. And a job level up. A level up. And probably not a job level up. Yes, there it is. Why we still get Gil at this point, I'm not exactly sure. But you do. I am a warrior of the dark, one of the four who stopped the flood of light a thousand years ago. I have come to join you. Light and darkness, one cannot exist without the other, much like the sun and the world. Zandi severed the link between the world and the sun, creating a world without day or night, a world devoid of time. But Zandi did not foresee that his actions would call forth the cloud of darkness, or that he would be put under its control. If we do not stop the cloud here and now, not only will your world be engulfed in darkness, but the worlds of light and darkness will both be devoured by the void. If we, warriors of the dark, and you, warriors of the light, combine our powers, we may be able to stop it. As we had done a thousand years ago, let us unite and defeat the cloud of darkness. My only question is, do I get a full heal? Are you going to show me a full heal? It is a full heal. Awesome. Then I will not need to use an elixir or anything of the sort. Just go past, past the crystal. Apparently not. Apparently past the crystal is nothing. So I need to go back this way and go through the same portal that I came in. Yeah. Backtracking. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Don't I have to? Yeah, I have to go back to the main area, which is which is no fun. That was, I think, the Dark Earth Crystal that we just saved. Um, that's probably why. Really? Random encounters? Really? Are they Shadow Master and Cage. Okay, these are new enemies. What do you want me to say? We've got new enemies. I'm going to use Quake on them because I don't... Um, I don't think the next... Uh, the next enemy that I'm fighting is going to be susceptible to that. Uh, go for another arrow because I got a shit ton of them. Die, Shadow Master. Really? Random encounters now? This is... Why would you... Ugh. That's just awful. At least they only get one turn each. That's a good sign. But they do die relatively quickly. That's also a good sign. But seriously, random encounters? Here... Like, at the end of everything, we're preparing to fight the final boss, and you're just like, don't take a step. And that's not going to be enough for the victory at all. Uh, whatever, everybody just attack. 
because I'm pretty sure that either Abel or Sackman's gonna finish him off anyway. Uh, no, okay, well, Bloom comes in. Bloom does some massive 117 damage. And down goes Cage. Doesn't remind me of any cage that I've ever seen before. Whatever. We get 70, uh, 7,700 gil, 4,500 experience, and a job level up for Bloon. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take any level ups that you'll give me, but I'm just not expecting them. Alright, the next uh, toughest boss. I'm trying to go in these order from easiest to hardest. Arimon is the easiest. It has the lowest attack. Really? 